Okay, so this is gonna be like the 500th time we've tried to film today. So we're doing Police Academy. If I've seen it before, it's cause uh, I was little, I walked in the room, my dad was watching it. Don't remember it. He really liked these movies. So I'm gonna watch them now. Got my ear hole muffs. You guys click smash all the things. Let's get started. I, re I remember the music. Oh, on March 4th, almost the same day. The police completely freaked. I've seen Steve Gutenberg and stuff. Kim Cattrall, Mannequin is in this? Also in Mannequin. That's why I said Mannequin is in this. And G.W. Bailey is also in Mannequin. Security guard asshole. Like He walked around with the dog. Yeah, and the nightstick. Oh my god. Michael Berry. We're gonna miss you around here. Police Academy's get themselves real fine recruits. What? May I uh oh now? Affirmative, sir. Oh my. You guys. Rise! <laughs> Let's go, mister! Frankie, say relax. Don't You've do it. You've got a space. Find a spot, dickhead. Dickhead? That's right. Where's the manager? Park the car, butt breath. Butt breath? Yeah. That's a wig, isn't it? <clears throat> park the car? Yeah, that's a wig. This rude little punk won't park my car. Okay, I want you to apologize to this man, then park his car. That guy can eat a dick. Sorry. You just can't get good help these days. They don't respect property. They don't respect respect. I mean, my Holy man. shit! Jesus! He parked it! He did what you asked him to do. It fits! Damn thing fits! I thought there were no more spaces. Like a glove. There's gonna be so many people upset about their pictures. That's the world's best beatboxer. What are you in for? I'll show you. God damn it, stop that! Oh, oh no, sir, no, not you. That's terrific, really. Larville Jones. What's wrong with you? Last week disturbing. He is wearing that mustache. Want you to go to the police academy. Uh-oh. Police academy? Yeah, become one of them. Wait a minute, Reed. The Academy's taking all kinds today. That's nuts. Well, it's either that or the lockup. You'll get 14 weeks of Academy training and discipline. 14 weeks. That's, that's a long time. Can I bring a friend? Monsignor Larvel Jones. He's my personal physician. <laughs> really? It's such a dangerous place! Honey! Oh, right in the baby maker. <laughs> you pull out of that driveway and I'll God damn. That guy should not be driving. I mean, maybe she should join the police academy. Look at her. <laughs> you move this car an inch and you're finished, mister! You hear me? Why a police? A police woman, mother. Get it right. Why? Exciting. It's different. <laughs> She is still letting him have it, <laughs> driving down the highway. <laughs> Maybe he wants to be in the police academy to get away from you, lady. Did you ever think of that? Get at Kyle Blanks, reporting for duty, sir. Get away from me, you asshole. <laughs> I like this guy. Tackleberry. Yeah. One in the oven. <laughs> Who are we, man? You mean... He's got it queued up and ready to go in the peen. Bye, babies! Do you know all those women? Sure. They're my girlfriends. All, all of them? Yeah. Carrie Mahoney. 
I'm George Martin. I was about to ask, where is she? How is she going to get home? She's going to have to take the car. Look at that. Would you just look at it? I mean, just get a look at that. Look at that scum. Just look at it. A cop did that. A cop. Oh, where is he? I'd like to look at him. Yeah, went over, went over, went over and okay, there's the guy from Mannequin. Yep. They all had Johnson's Lassard, every single one of them. Oh, yes. Back in the old days, there were Johnson's as far as the eye could see. So that guy likes dicks. Noted. Weed the undesirables out. We'll start washing them out this morning. We don't throw them out. They must be encouraged to quit. Then we all know what to do. <laughs> well, there's sure a lot of spades around here. Which I think is good. Very good for the academy. Yeah. <laughs> After those 12 weeks, some of you will be police officers and some of you will not. Here at the academy, here at the academy, you will learn. <laughs> uh, princess, princess. Put your lipstick away. Princess looks more like a prince to me. Do they even have anything big enough to fit that guy? Report to the Academy, Barber, before you do anything else. Find it, rat face. Rat face? Yeah, I, I get that. What's that? Yo, he is wearing those shorts. He's wearing Daisy Dukes, basically. Basically. Gucci cutters. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I thought only Florida Gator fans wore shorts like that. Take it all off. I don't think he's in the right place. Just a little off the side, please. You bet. You can do that? Sure. This ain't the army, you know. <laughs> right in. Hold me in. Tackleberry. Yes, sir. So thank you, sir. He is a bit excited to be there. One more thing. The rest of you wimps come with me. Wimps. I don't think you want to call that guy a wimp. <laughs> you married, huh? Yeah. To me, marriage is a sacred institution. You and the wife do it doggy style or what? They probably very plain. I would have guessed she's in charge in that exactly. situation. Exactly. How she wants it. Is yeah. How it gets given. <laughs> <laughs> what she says goes. Good haircuts, man. I don't like Thank these you, two. Why do they look like they got sunburns? They need to calm it on down. Seems I've got a squad full of scum buckets. And I was kind of hoping that, that you two fine young cadets might help me to just get rid of a few of them. Will you help me out? Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm Copeland, sir. Chad Copeland. I didn't ask. Good for you. Hi, I'm Douglas Mackler. I always wanted to be a cop. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you know who he reminds me of? The the drill sergeant in stripes. We've got you because you are the worst people here. How do you know that? You don't know anything about them. They might be good people. Our D squad. D for dirt bag. Chosen cadets Blanks and Dopeland. Step out, men. I don't think that's their name. Is it their name? I don't remember what they said already. Well, she's got some melons. Big, large. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, feed yours. Do you know what that means? Hooks. I'm not sure, sir. Why? That's not Voice command. She sounds like Minnie Mouse. Have any of you had any military training? Oh, uh, where's the one guy? Mm -hmm. Forces unit. Oh. 
Anybody else? You have had prior military training, Mahoney. They're both full shit. Well, yes, but not in this life, sir. In a previous life, I served with Her Majesty's forces in India. Interesting sideline here. If you're trying to get thrown out of here, Mahoney, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Mahoney, Cadet Mahoney, report immediately to the Commandant's office. Cadet Mahoney. Okay, Mahoney, get going. How did she not see him doing that? The bl the blonde, her, the blonde cop. Lieutenant Harris, report immediately to the firing range, Harris. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Is that your fish? No, it belongs to a friend. <laughs> I want out of here, right now. Well, that's no problem. You can just quit. I can't quit. You're a special case. You can't quit. Oh. On the other hand, I can't throw you out. Because I promised Captain Reed. I promised I'd keep you here the full 24 weeks. Is it 24, 14, or 12? Which is it? I'm trapped here? Well, yes. We all are. <laughs> oh. What a clusterfuck. Oh, no. They'll never make it. Sir, deep to have ripped my pants. How'd you do that? Don't try me, punk. Be back in five minutes! Yes, sir. Shit, I'm deaf. <laughs> me too. I've got Cordovan. Who's it for? Ten Harris. What are you going to do with that? Look, sir, new pants. What are you doing with that? Give me that. <laughs> so far, nobody's quit, but they will. you not to try me boy you are going to learn mahoney that nobody nobody screws with me those two are bitches uh-oh uh-oh oh he's he just got a boner because he got a firearm <laughs> moms are great you will learn to defend yourselves i mean those boobs are about to poke somebody's eyes out no That's how it's done. Who's next? That's me! I love it! Of course. Crayons. Dang! He is quite the ladies' man, isn't he? There's boobs all over the place. Sure. Busted. saying that all along. You make me sick. Thank you, sir. I make everybody sick. That's a compliment. Harris, Lieutenant Thaddeus Harris, out of the police academy. There's those thighs he was wanting to see. Hi, Captain Reed. Can I get out of here? No? Okay. Captain Reed, um... <laughs> he didn't try too hard. I've already told you once. Nobody screws with me. Well, maybe you'll meet the right girl and all that'll change. <laughs> Here now! Oh, he just did a desk pop. Please do. Pop one off. There you go. Pop it off. Don't think, just Don't go. Think. Here we go. Do it. Yes. <laughs> Everybody does desk pop. Everybody does a desk pop. <laughs> hey Terry, I did. I did my first desk pop. It's a real thing, right? Uh, really? When I when I go. Do it now! Come on! I, I, I can't because when I do it. Come here. How was that? Is that okay? Yeah. That's yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, but that's not what he asked for. <laughs> <laughs> Studying hard. I can't take these two seriously. They're not. They're not tough at all. Party. I, There's I don't know nothing about scary party. about either of them. I'm gonna go home for the weekend and visit my mom and dad. You know, Chad. I don't think we. Especially that guy right there on the right. <laughs> He's a moron on top of that. He's not scary and he's an idiot. A complete imbecile. Okay, yeah, it's no big secret. It's at the uh, Blue Oyster Bar. It's on Howell. Ha 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 
I would believe his sax playing if his fingers were moving. Fingers aren't moving for the different notes. Beautiful. He is getting boob overload in his eyeballs. He looks a little like Biff. He's got a little bit of Biff in him. A little bit. He just, he cannot handle it. So sweetly. These two guys are going to be violated in so many different ways before they leave this joint. <laughs> the other guy's going to be enjoying it. Watch. Yep, he's wearing the guy's hat. Is he sleeping? There was a party, wasn't there? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. It sure well, was a party. Well, what went on? Dancing, sir. Mostly dancing. Yep, that's all we all did was dance. Mm. Dancing. Mm -hmm. High Tower, you're first. Let's go. His name is appropriate. High Tower. He's like a tree. Right in the throat. Oh, oh. Oh, shit, no. The moment he's waited his whole life for. Come with me. Hey! Huckleberry! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he's waited his whole life for this right here. <laughs> Here. I love how he plays it up and even does very feminine walk and everything. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, ma'am! You've been sneaking in here every night. <sighs> She's like, you're not going to sneak in here and give all of them the sex without giving me the sex. <laughs> she wore him out. <laughs> yeah. That's the walk of shame back home. Uh, he can barely walk. But that, folks, get up, stand right over here. Why is he picking on her? Because she's quiet. She's adorable. Don't move! This is a stick up! What? I mean, police, police officer. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Got the stolen stereo in my hand. Got that stereo before I blow your goddamn nuts off, asshole! Yeah. <laughs> Me. I could do that. <laughs> we really need to talk. Why? <laughs> He's great at his job so far. <laughs> Have you ever had a woman just throw you down and screw your goddamn brains out? No. It happened to me last night. I think uh, I'm in love. <laughs> Plain old George Martin. Fourth generation Merkin. <laughs> Just use the accent to get the girls. Uh, does it work? Brilliant. Yeah. Mahoney isn't the only one around here who can play tricks on people. Those two guys are pieces of dick cheese. I think you guys, yeah. Well, come on up. Oh, damn. That's good, Hightower. Just sit down over there. Mm hmm. Take a seat. I think you passed. <laughs> Got a light? I have a friend who smokes. I'll go get him. <laughs> Well, my goodness. Wasn't she just asking for a lighter? Where'd she get the lighter? To do it in strange places, that's all, okay? Why the hell didn't you say so? Squeeze in here. We have a very, very... Please take your seats. First of all, I'd like to say how sorry I am that everybody could not make it today. For those here, interesting as well as Is very, very She's stimulating. gonna... <laughs> he doesn't investigate. <laughs> I mean, but why would you? <laughs> would you investigate? Our main building. In slide two, we see another view of <laughs> it. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Let us look at this slide for a moment without comment. <laughs> I think it speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could we have the lights, please? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope this was as much fun for you as it was for me. I don't, I don't think it was that fun for everybody else. <laughs> Maybe. Smoke a cigarette? Yeah, <laughs> I think you need to go do that. <laughs> Best parking spot right there, and it's all for him. <laughs> what do you intend to do about Mahoney? What's he done? What's he done? Yeah, what what did he do? Yes, <laughs> what sir. did he do? He did a very, very bad thing. To whom, sir? To whom? Hmm. Yeah, think about your answers there. I don't know. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? Not really. May I go? Of course, sir. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I think you need to go take a nap. <laughs> Are you gonna make it? Oh, did she do it? She climbed it? She's adorable. Hey, Mahoney! Why don't you ride with me? Oh, great. Officer! Officer! Can you get my kitty cat out of the tree? No problem, ma'am. Oh, no! No! Wait! Oh, my God. Because honking the horn makes everything better. It's going to make things start working. It's going to help the entire situation. I hate people that do that. I'm not going to hurt you. Does he even know what he's doing? Not really. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Bless it. Gross. Told no one. Not a soul. Sure. They all know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> I was gonna say, even she knows. She's got to. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's a gentle giant. 2.30 in the morning. The driving course is tomorrow. I've been driving a car since I was 12. <sighs> All right. Let's go. I mean, he is sleeping prepared. How does he even fit? That's not going to work. On second thought, let's just rip the front seats out, sit in the back. <laughs> I mean, is that better? Actually, I was kidding about the front seat, but this is good. You feel what's going on? Can you even turn off the windshield? I was gonna say, why do you have your wipers on? Why haven't you driven a car since you were 12? Is it because you got so big? Oh God, stop, 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 hey, stop. You didn't hit the brakes. You didn't tell me to. That's true, you didn't tell him to. You idiot! You dumb shit! <laughs> That guy just rethought his whole situation. <laughs> no, not now. This is fun. Oh, great. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not going to end well. There was nothing in the alley except for that one little trash can, and he's like, damn it, let's hit it. Make sure to hit that trash can. How tall is he? He's like 6'8". He played for the Oilers and the back in the day in the 70s he was in football. I think Colts. he passed I think he passed the test though. His real name is Bubba Smith. Not bad. That's a big man. Very large. And then little bitty hooks is next. Uh-oh. Hey! <laughs> I'm telling you why. Why are you singing Santa Claus is coming to town? Why? That guy deserved it. He deserved a lot more than getting flipped over. Copeland, get out of that car. 
Mahoney. Mm. It's gotta be Mahoney. Mm. Really? Mm. That's all you can say? Mm. Jerk. You wrecked my car! No, Hightower did. Why don't you go see him? Because we want you. You throw the first punch. No, that's not how it works. You want to fight me, you throw the first one. Here's your chance. Really? No. He's such a twat. Get set. <laughs> Did Mahoney start it? No, he didn't. He didn't yes, start it. Mahoney started it. No, he didn't. And Mahoney, you are out. Get your stuff and get out. Yeah, but you gotta call Reed and Reed's gonna say no. He's not going anywhere. Does the radio bother you? No, I think your face bothers them. Thanks. Oh, shit. It's a pinball machine. What game is that? I think we had that game. That guy totally started a riot. Of course. that he makes everything a video game of some sort. A riot's broken out downtown. Who knows how these things get started? Me. I know how the, that thing got started. Was that you? No, man. I love that he asked that guy if it was him. This is the big one. Oh. Enough. Here's the situation. He totally decided to go. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, just fine, thanks. I know a place where they heat it up. He said, let me carry that for you. Uh, I got to go now. Yeah. Holy shit is right. This is not going to turn out good. Hello, men. I thought I'd come by for a personal inspection. Not that good, sir. Oh, this is very, very, very bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he went back to the flower shop. You should park cars for a living, sir. He does really good at it. Really? What is that going to do? What good does that do to throw your helmet? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, you're not so tough now. Oh my god. They wound up back in the blue oyster. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Hi. What's up? How's it going? He just went in and got him a new jacket. Hi. Pat. Okay. Hold it right there, guys. Last, you're not gonna shoot us. Uh -huh. No. Get lost. We're busy. Get him! I'm so proud of him. Now, get the furniture back up there and get out of the area. But it's our furniture. Oh, sorry. Is it though? Are y'all really moving? <laughs> Good for you though, Leslie. Hey, I'm this guy. <laughs> he's just... That looks like Harry's up there. Should we shoot back? Mm. Mm. <laughs> He's got to think about it. Turn around. He's right behind you. Don't move, you bastard. Run, Thompson! Second, you put your gun down. <laughs> Ten Harris? Any last minute tips or suggestions? Yeah. Nothing really comes to mind. Hmm. Throw your gun over the ledge. I mean, could have shot him in the kneecap. I want to watch you off these pigs. What you want me to do first? I believe I'd shoot this one. Yeah, <laughs> that one. God damn, what a stunt. I was gonna say, there ain't no way he's waking up after that punch. 
looks like cadet revolvers to me. <laughs> she got loud. I love it. <laughs> he ripped his arm out of socket. He didn't get to shoot anybody. He's fucking upset. Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with this man? There was gunplay, sir, and he missed it. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's upset he didn't get to play. Thank you for looking out for my boy, Mahone. Oh, it was an honor and a pleasure, sir. Is this woman bothering you? What? Uh, no. No, this is my mother. Calm down. You men, stop that. Oh, well. That's more like so it, Mahone. Good man. Keep up the good work. Did he just kneel to kind of check out the podium? <laughs> no Academy cadet has ever received the highest award this police department has to make. Officers Moses Hightower and Carrie Mahone. He, he can't even... Why didn't you give him a step stool? Officer Hightower. Thanks. That was very, very, very good. Yes. Officer Mahoney. Thank you, Commandant Lassard, Chief Hurst, Madam Mayor, Mr. President, His Holiness the Pope, the King of Norway. are Gutenberg leading a squad of cops doing things and it's, they're called police academy but they really don't have anything to do with the police academy per se like they're all become they graduated you know right they, they become yeah real the, cops the same cops pretty much throughout all the movies Jones and the, the, the sound effects guy and Tackleberry and Hooks and the cop, okay I kept the wanting cops. to call Tackleberry Huckleberry yeah <laughs> This is one that I watched a whole lot as a kid. It was on a lot. And the blowjob joke didn't ever really get until I was, you know, 12, 13. It took a while to get that one. And uh, <laughs> the, uh, the couple questionable things, you know, the... Like, I can remember hearing Daddy laughing I love watching the theme these. song, too. I love the, the music, the march. Yeah, the march. But, yeah, I, it, it, I don't remember anything, ever seeing it. Like, that doesn't mean anything. I probably saw bits and pieces, like, trying to figure out what my dad was laughing at when I was little. But I never sat down and watched any of these, to my my recollection. Right. So. Well, the second one is where Bobcat Goldthwait shows up. He's okay. in this one. So, if you've seen him in, a, in one of these that was second or third or beyond... Okay. He starts off as a criminal and ends up becoming a cop later on, too. But Why are you telling me things? We're going to wind I, up know, seeing it. We're not going to be watching this. <laughs> Why not? We might watch one of them, but they're, they're all just kind of like... Look, it, it's up there with Stripes and the Jerk. Yeah. It's in good company. And then why is Unforgiven sitting there? That's wild. That's a great movie, but it has nothing to do with this. Moving Ooh, another point break. Richard Pryor and... I have not seen that. A very young uh, Stacy Dash is his daughter. Ski School, is that the one with... Um... Yep, with Chainsaw and Dave. Chainsaw, or whichever one he was. No, that's not what I was thinking another of. another one called Ski Patrol. Ski Patrol is what I was thinking of. That one's got Beverly Leslie in it. That adorable little guy. Yeah, but he's from Chattanooga, and he played Beverly Leslie on Will and Grace. And he was great. What is Ruthless People? That's Dan DeVito and um, Bette Midler, Kidnappers. Somebody mentioned it on Romance in the Stone. Oh, did they? Yeah. Look, there's six of them. Oh, uh, good maybe God. seven. Part seven is they go to Moscow. Yep, Mission Moscow. I think Steve Gutenberg is in like one through four. And then by five, he was doing Three Men and a Baby and he didn't come back from five. See, that's where I remember him from is Three Men and a Baby. Mm -hmm. Those movies were huge too, both of them. Yeah. Like big time. Him and him and uh Tom Selleck and Ted Danson. I was gonna say my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Selleck, Magnum PI. Richard. 
even with all the pot I smoke, I'm pretty quick on the draw with names. And yeah, stuff. sometimes you're so quick you don't let me get it out. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I can't help it. It was, it was like I said, I, I can remember my dad loved those movies. Like those and um, I get emotional when I start talking about my dad and and when we tried to do the beginning before while we were having all the camera issues, um, talking about my dad and, and remembering still fresh. Anyway, um, yeah, I, 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 I liked it. It was, it was good. I can, I could almost, even though I'm, I don't know exactly the parts my dad laughed at, but I do know the parts, you know, like my dad would have found Probably the same things we were laughing at, hysterical. I could, I could hear my dad. So, um, so yeah, I liked it. Uh, I don't, I don't hate it. So that's. Okay. You don't yeah. hate it. I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. I don't. I've, I've definitely seen funnier. All right. Well, tell the people to fuck off, and we'll stop this recording. Eat a dick. See you later. Just kidding, except for the creepy weirdos that I'm not. I'm not kidding to you guys. But Everybody, they will eat a dick. So they, they, yeah, they like it. They can. Don't, don't. Oh. Well, well, you guys click smash all the things, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time. Later.